Hey, get your meal planner out. I have five delicious Weight Watcher meals to share with you. Jason loves chicken marsala, so when I spotted this lightened up chicken marsala by Skinny Taste, I knew we had to give it a try. And let me tell you, it is a keeper. Everybody across the board loved it. I have two boneless skinless chicken breasts cut in half. You can pound these out if you want to, I'm not going to. I also salt and peppered them. In my pan on the stove, I have a half a tablespoon of butter and three cloves of minced garlic. I'm gonna let that butter melt and start cooking up that garlic. While the butter's melting and the garlic is cooking, I have a fourth cup of flour. I'm going to dredge my chicken into the flour. Now that the butter is melted, I've added a chopped shallot. Let that soften in that garlic. Oh, it smells so good already. The recipe calls for shiitake mushrooms and just regular sliced mushrooms. I couldn't find shiitake, so I just used a couple packages of sliced mushrooms. The recipe says to cook your chicken, remove it from the pan, yada, yada, yada. I didn't do that. I just nestled my chicken right into the mushrooms, shallots, and garlic. I'm letting it steam through with the cover on top. I am going to add one teaspoon of flour to this and a little more salt and pepper. I'm gonna mix this in really well. Oh, my stove is a mess. Look at this. I got all kinds of flour there. I'm boiling potatoes to go on the side. I got water overflowed all over. <laughs> Real life happening right here. <laughs> so that one, look, and the beeper's going off. <laughs> um, one, that one teaspoon of flour is gonna be a thickening agent and it's figured into the recipe. So now I'm adding a half a cup of low sodium chicken broth along with a third cup of marsala wine. Let that simmer together for a few minutes. I did save the chicken broth because the recipe says that if the sauce gets too thick, I can keep adding a little bit more chicken broth to it to kind of thin it out. So this is what it looks like after it is done. It smells fantastic. I'm serving ours over mashed potatoes. You can also serve it over pasta, but this recipe without the mashed potatoes is only two points for me. I am not even kidding you when I say you cannot tell this meal is not from a restaurant. It is so delicious and flavorful. You have to give this a try. It is only 241 calories. On the side, I made up some mashed potatoes, but I took it a step further and I added just a little bit of minced garlic into the potatoes. Oh my goodness. When you take the mushroom gravy and you pour it over the potatoes with that chicken, oh yeah, this one is in my recipe binder. Tonight's dinner, we are making teriyaki glazed grilled pork chops with pineapple salsa. So we have our pork chops and to this I am adding fourth cup of pineapple juice, four teaspoons of low sodium soy sauce, a half a teaspoon of ginger, you can use fresh grated ginger if you want, and a large clove of garlic. It says crushed but I use minced. I'm gonna put the pork in the refrigerator for about 30 minutes and let the marinade do its job. My husband is a sweetheart. I needed fresh pineapple chopped up and he did that last night for me. Put it in a bag and such a sweet guy. Mm, smells really good. I'm gonna to put together the salsa that is gonna go over top of the teriyaki pork chops. So I need pineapple, some cilantro. If you don't like cilantro, you can leave it out. But we love cilantro. A red onion and a jalapeno. Whew, this is gonna be a really good salsa. Doesn't that look delicious? I'm gonna give this a mix, I'm gonna set it aside. Using jalapenos, I always wear gloves. I deseeded ours, but you can make it however you like to your preference and what you and your family like. You can keep the seeds, take the seeds out like I did, use half of a jalapeno, not a whole jalapeno, or you can just leave the jalapeno out altogether. It's completely up to you. That's what makes recipes so fun. They are adjustable. Time to make the teriyaki sauce. In a bowl, I have a teaspoon of cornstarch and three tablespoons of water. I'm gonna set that aside for a second. In a saucepan, I have two tablespoons of brown sugar. I'm adding a fourth cup of pineapple juice, a half a teaspoon of grated ginger. I just use the ginger paste again, and then a small garlic clove. I'm using the mince. And three tablespoons of soy sauce. 
Now if this sauce has come up to a boil, I'm gonna let it simmer for about four minutes until it reduces a little bit, and then I'm gonna add the slurry to it, and that is gonna set it up perfectly. We grilled up our pork loin. Now the recipe says when it's just about done, you can go ahead and add the teriyaki sauce. We decided not to. We are going to just kind of put it on the pork because we have it in bowls, like so. And we're gonna have it over rice. This dish is so full of flavor, you have gotta give it a try. I think this is gonna go on one of our favorites list. The guys have been taste testing it this whole entire time and every time they take a bite, they're like, mm, mm, this is so good. For today's dinner, I am making taco burgers. I'm getting this recipe right from the horse's mouth. <laughs> this is a WW magazine that I picked up over the summer. This dinner is actually a little higher than normal. This one is going to be about 10 points for me because avocado is not free. This has avocado, you can use turkey burger if you want to, or lean ground beef. It has tomatoes, lettuce, taco seasoning. Oh, it sounds so good. Oh, and reduced fat pepper jack cheese. Calories are 381. And <laughs> I'm gonna be grilling today. Okay, it's a little cool out, <laughs> but it's okay. It's all right, I might have to wear a jacket or something like that. In a bowl, I have one pound of lean ground beef and I'm adding one tablespoon of taco seasoning to that. I'm gonna mix it in really well and then I'm gonna make this into patties. I just put the burgers out on the grill so those are cooking and while those are there, oh, I also am going to toast up our hamburger buns too. So now I'm making the avocado mash. I mashed up an avocado in a bowl. I've added two and a fourth teaspoon of the taco seasoning to the avocado. I'm gonna mix this in really well. Now that the burgers are done, I'm gonna place a slice of reduced fat pepper jack cheese on each of these. To assemble, you put some of the mashed avocado on a bun, place a burger on top of that, some lettuce, and tomato. Wow, that is going to be a knife and fork burger. This looks fantastic. Hey, are you hungry? You want mommy to make some dinner? Tonight, I am making some soup. In my soup pot, I have four cups fat-free milk, and I am adding one and a half cups of water, and I'm bringing it to a boil over medium low heat. Now that my milk is nice and hot and starting to bubble, I'm gonna add my chicken right into it. I know I should have used a cutting board, but I didn't. I used a paper plate because in my mind, it's helping me cut down on dishes. <laughs> I, I just added some diced onion and some celery. I have a bag of frozen mixed vegetables. Carefully add those into the mix here. I have an eight ounce container of sliced mushrooms. Those are going in the soup pot. I'm already liking this recipe. Anything that I can just dump a whole bunch of stuff into a soup pot, cook it together and it turns out super good. Yeah, I'm all about that. I have some better than bouillon here. I can't, yep, I opened it. Whew, I thought I was gonna have to go get the boys to open it for me. I'm gonna use two tablespoons and put this right into my soup pot. This is gonna add delicious flavor. Now it's time to add a pinch of thyme. I might add a little more than that. We really like thyme. Thyme is on my side. Is thyme on your side? <laughs> okay, that was really corny. <laughs> I added some pepper and then a personal choice, I added just a little bit of salt as well. I'm going to bring this back up to a boil, cover it partially and let it simmer for 15 minutes and get that chicken cooked. Oh, and the potatoes. I forgot to add the potatoes. Good thing it didn't come up to a boil yet. Okay, I'm gonna add the potatoes to my soup pot. I'm glad I saw those. <laughs> While the soup is bubbling away, I have a fourth cup of flour with a half a cup of cold water, and I'm just mixing that together, making a slurry. I'm gonna set this aside. Now I'm gonna add this slurry right into the soup. This is gonna thicken it up nicely. I'm gonna use a whisk though to do this. I'm just gonna add a little bit at a time. If you're wiggling, it's because this one is licking the camera stand. Say sorry, I'm hungry. Look what I made. These are puff pastry croutons. And I mean, if you wanna use them in your soup, just scan the box and figure it out in your app. But those are so cute. I had one puff pastry in there and I was like, in the recipe mentioned that she had done these little croutons. I was like, that is actually a really super good idea. So. All right, we're gonna dish up. I'll show you what it looks like when I'm done. Home diggity dog diggity. My boys are dipping into those croutons. 
<laughs> the puff pastry croutons. Everybody's loving it. They said those puff pastry croutons are amazing. Justin's like, well, I want some. He's like, oh, he just took another one. <laughs> All right, so the serving for this soup without the croutons is one and a half cups, and it is, for me, only three points. So that's not a bad deal. Yum. Tonight's dinner is skinny meatloaf muffins. So in a bowl, I have already added one and a half pounds of lean ground beef, an egg, and some salt and pepper. You can use ground turkey for this instead. Now I am adding a half a cup of Italian style breadcrumbs, one tablespoon of minced garlic, a half a teaspoon of thyme, half a teaspoon of dried oregano, half a teaspoon of onion powder, or you can use chopped onions. I'm sure you can use fresh onions as well. I was gonna use chopped onions and I have like none in here. I don't even have a half a teaspoon. I need to add this to my grocery list, so. Onion powder it is this time. A half a cup of sugar-free ketchup. I'm using the GHU sugar-free ketchup. This stuff is really good, I'm impressed. Taking off my rings and I am going to mix this meatloaf with my hands. It's the best way to do it. Oh, I forgot to add a teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce, so I added that to the meatloaf mix as well. I've divided 12 meat balls into a 12 muffin tin pan, which I have sprayed with cooking spray. And I'm just kind of flattening them out, making sure that the top is flat. Put a little bit of ketchup in this bowl. I'm taking a teaspoon of the no sugar ketchup and I'm topping each of my little meatloaf muffins with this ketchup. I have my oven preheating to 350. Now the recipe says to leave the ketchup off until they are completely cooked, which they're only gonna take 20 to 25 minutes to cook, and then put the ketchup on, and then put them back in for five more minutes. We always have our meatloaf with our ketchup baked right on top of it, so that's how I'm gonna prepare these little muffins. These look pretty picture perfect, don't they? <laughs> these are all set to go into the oven and bake up. The house is gonna smell delicious. These are fresh out of the oven. They smell so good. For one of these, it's two to three points, or two of them is five points. And if you're counting calories, one of them is 102 calories. Don't stop watching now. Here's two more Weight Watcher videos for you to enjoy. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you have a wonderful day, and I will see you soon.